So I'm just barely getting over my jet lag. This morning I have an interview with Breakfast TV and then later in the day, Kim, a local celebrity, is gonna take me around Auckland and show me all the sights. And then I'll be doing a tour of Eden Park before the big games. I'm five days into my stay in Auckland and so far I've slept, eaten and watched a lot of rugby. But now it's time for me to check out the city. My tour guide for the day is Kim Crossman, a Kiwi actress, celebrity and all around great person with great taste. Happy to be here. Would you like me to show you around? I would love nothing more. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, Alona, do you have expensive taste? I want to. Great. Well, then I've brought you to the perfect spot. This is the Viaduct Harbour. It's where some of our nicest restaurants are and some of our fanciest boats. Check it out. Woo! Auckland is home to 1.6 million people, making it by far New Zealand's biggest city. It's a hub crammed with places to explore, good food, a picturesque harbor, beaches, and Kiwi culture. The tour is going great so far. Kim is absolutely amazing, and she's taking me to all the best spots, so let's see where we go next. Do it! Well, what is a trip to Auckland without a picnic in the park of the Domain? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Kim, thank you so much for showing me around Auckland. It was spectacular. Cheers. Cheers. Actually, we're not done yet. How are you with heights? Welcome to the roof! Okay, three, two, one, leave. Oh, well, that was fine. <laughs> huh, alright. Eden Park is New Zealand's biggest stadium with a capacity of 50,000. In just a few days, I'll be here for back-to-back semi-finals featuring England, Canada, France, and New Zealand. How cool is this? Uh, this is going to be amazing. <laughs> Walking through the tunnel onto the field of Eden Park and not the only surprise I have for you. I'm honored. I am absolutely honored. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a little run around. Yeah, you go back. for it. Hey, look. Hey, that's me. That's me. That's me right there. <gasps> ah! Look at this view, this is so cool. So it's like a glamping. You glamp in the stadium here at mm -hmm. Eden Park. I mean, look at the setup. Look at this. Can I try it a bit? Yeah, one, two. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, nice. These stands are gonna be packed with fans here to watch women's rugby. It's gonna be spectacular. <sighs> Kim, you may be one of my new favorite people. You literally showed me all of the sights. Yeah, my pleasure. And aren't you coming back here in the weekend? I'm so excited. I'm going to watch some rugby, have some fun. It's going to be awesome. All right, well, I'm getting pretty tired, so Come. let's go have some rest. <laughs> It's Thursday morning and we got a busy day planned. I did a little workout this morning, but I'm ready to see what this day holds. So this is Weta Unleashed, made by the special effects company best known for its work on The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. It's filled with all this cool fantasy and sci-fi stuff. And they even gave me a fake scar as a souvenir. Do you like it? Now this is the bit I've been dreading. Today I'm going to be doing the sky jump off Auckland's tallest building. I hope. All right, everybody, it's time to jump off the sky tower. Will I be able to do it? Okay. Whoa. Just a quick jump off the sky tower. Looking good. I just don't do stairs anymore. I just full on jump. Meters all the way down. How are you feeling? 
don't know if I can do this. <laughs> Wait, that's Wait, you lower me down slowly. Three, two, one, go. Do it again, do it again. On my time. Everybody, here she comes. In three, two, one, go. This is sucks. Oh my god. I'm going to I don't know about this. I'm I cried, <laughs> but I did it. No oh, floor. I'm gonna have a seat. I'm gonna have a seat. Just getting myself off the platform was probably one of the hardest things I've ever done. Okay, well now we did it. Next up, a legendary New Zealand chef, Peter Gordon, is gonna take me through a little cooking class. To say I'm excited would be an understatement. I am so excited to be here, mostly to eat, <laughs> but also to learn to cook. So what are we going to make today? I'm going to teach you a really kiwi dish. It's fish head soup. This is going to go into a stock. It's just got some carrots and onions and salt. And while that's cooking, we're going to make the soup itself. My mom's watching this. Your mom's a good cook. She's a great cook. That's why I'm so big. When you finish the, um, there's a bit of a staff shortage. Yeah, so yeah. when you finish your sporting, can you come and <laughs> help us? What we're also going to do is add a bit of fish stock. What we're going to be putting in the end is some New Zealand wakame. We've got our silver beet, our shiitake, our kawakawa. So you can see it's almost there. This looks so hearty. Looks good, doesn't it? Peter, thank you for taking me through this cooking lesson. I've learned a lot. Let's dig in. Oh, fantastic. Warm, hearty. The sweetness from the coconut milk. I could eat this all day. That's good, isn't it? Well done, chef. Well done, chef. Your mum would be so proud. Today's a big day. It's semifinals day, so I got my coffee. I'm ready to go. It's semi-finals time here at Eden Park. First up, we have England versus Canada, and then the game we're all waiting for, Black Ferns versus France. Let's do this. Oh, with the compete. Interesting, I like it. Whoa. Oh, okay. Helena Rowland just stepped like 12 people. Holy shit. someone get her. Someone tackle her. It's now 12 to 0 England, and I think Englanders gonna keep pulling away. Go, yeah. Kevin! Oh, that's a good try! That's a good try! All right, yes. Canada beat us. But that was a very good try. Eight more minutes to play. England lead 26 to 19, but Canada are working their butts off. All right, just hold out now, England. You gotta hold out. Oh! Stressful stuff over here. Ah, fudge. <laughs> fudge. That was a good game. That was a really good game. And England are your first team in the Rugby World Cup final with a score of 26 to 19. But Canada should be so proud of that performance. Next up, Black Ferns versus France. I decided there's no better place to watch the second semifinal than way up here. I can see the sky tower from here. Remember when I jumped off it? <laughs> I'm trying to forget it, so.
number one. Don't go out. Do they serve food up here? And New Zealand are on the board. This is the coolest way I've ever watched a rugby game, but it's time to get warm. It's a little bit warmer down here. France lead New Zealand 17 to 10. Will France beat New Zealand at home? 10 minutes left. New Zealand lead by one point, 25 to 24, but France just got a yellow card. Ah! Why is she going quick all the time? Oh, they got it! France have a penalty kick in New Zealand's end. If they make this kick, it will pretty much secure the game for them. Oh, they missed it! Oh! Oh, God, take it out now! No, take it out! Oh, that was wild. That's so good. That was really good rugby. Final score, 25 to 24. New Zealand have done it. They're in the finals. And New Zealand have done it. They beat France by just one point, 25 to 24. Them and England will be in the final here at Eden Park next week.